Well, I guess I'm going to finish up where I left off. My last video was about these door jams. I had painted these door jams and did a little work on them. And I was going to paint the door jams with the deck lid and the hood, but then I started taking more stuff off, like this here. I had took the front clip off. And this piece that go on the bottom of the front clip because it's a lot easier trying to paint it separate because I can get paint up in here a lot easier than with it on the car. So I took them off, which I might have already been unpainted these by this video here because I might paint them with the door jams. I got the door jams in the booth now, but I'm going to paint these separate. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and scuff these up. Wash them down good and scuff them up. Then I get these ready to go in the booth next. This is what I be sanding everything with. Some 320. I just tore a piece in the ass that I'm gonna put. Put it in my soapy water, and let it soak. And also I'm gonna be using some maroon scotch spray. I'm gonna wet sand most of this here because I see a lot of little imperfections in it but around where it's good at I'm just gonna use a maroon scotch spray like up in here I'm gonna use maroon scotch spray and with that primer the overspray at I'm gonna use the uh, 320 wet sand so I'll be doing the hood the deck lid the jams on the car be doing this here all this I'm gonna paint all this with the jams so I ain't got to worry about it when I paint the car what you're trying to do you're just trying to scuff it up so the painter has something to burn to and I'm also trying to knock down that trash that's in the clear that's why I'm wet saying it because I could just use maroon stop spray on this area here. But I'm trying to knock them little nibs down also. finished up on the sand and, and I washed it with soap and water it's still kind of damp I'm just gonna let it air dry and I'm gonna blow it off then I wipe it down with some wax and grease remover then I'll be ready to shoot my base after I paint these I bring the uh, car in itself and paint the jams on the car I finished up sanding everything now I guess the next thing I do is mask everything off that I don't want to get paint on. I also sanded this completely because I'm thinking about painting this when I paint the jam or the hood. So I ain't got to worry about painting this when I paint the car. Because I got a line right here. That'll be my cutoff line. So I'll be able to cut this off from the rest of the car. And plus the trim go here. But I'm just show you everything I got sanded. The doors. I'm gonna paint up in here also when I paint the door jam. And the deck lid. I'm gonna paint the hands down all this here, all the way down to here. So 
so I ain't gotta paint that when I paint the car. I guess I start up here and mask this engine bay off. Alright, I got the masking done. I'm gonna take you around the car, show you what it looked like. I know a lot of folks probably say this overkill, but Paul man doing it. Like I said before, prep is the key. And the reason why I put uh, masking paper right here because this this masking with this plastic here, it's not made for paint. And you put a couple of coats on this here and it'll flake off. That's why I put this paper up to where I'd be spraying at. And the reason why I didn't come all the way to the end here, because I didn't want a hard line. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to put some soft edge tape right here on top of this masking tape so I can get a soft line. Which if you get a hard line, you still can wet sand it whenever you wet sand the car. But it'll be, it'll make your job a lot harder. And if you had a soft line, it'll be a lot easier. So I'm going to put soft edge tape right here. Just along where I'm gonna be spraying, that's where I'm gonna put the soft edge tape. And this it right here. It's foam tape. Well, it's not actually tape, but masking foam. If I got some right here, it's got a little sticky side on it. You just put it where you want it at, and it'll go soft edge. The clear one, it won't bridge the tape because if it do, you have a hard edge here once you pull the tape up. This here will keep you from having that hard edge. And if you want some of this masking foam, I sell it on my website. Go check me out. So, I guess let me go on and finish that. Then I'll be ready to shoot the base coat. All right, soft edge tape applied. As you can see, I like to put tape along the ends on the soft edge tape, even though it got self adhesive tape on it. Sometimes it'll lift up, so I just put the tape on it, like on the ends, and so I'm in the middle, just to hold it down. Be on the safe side, but I'm finna wipe everything down with some wax and grease remover. Blow it off. I'm not gonna paint it tonight. I'm gonna wait till in the morning and do it. And I'm also gonna paint these. And I'm gonna try to do this once more. This little piece here giving me hell. I done tried to paint this. This is going to be my third time painting it. The first time when I painted the, um, what was I painting? I was painting the doors, I think. And I had got the run in it. Then when I painted the hood and the deck lid, it started wrinkling up on me. Right here because I had cut through the, the paint and it started wrinkling up. So I sanded everything back down and I'm going to try to spray it once again.
finished up with the three coats of base. I think it laid down pretty good. Didn't have no problems. Take it to the back.
I had went on to unmask it so I can show this soft edge. See, this is what I was talking about using that soft edge foam tape. You don't feel a line. And you could tell soft edge from a hard line because it's feather edge. I got a hard edge back here somewhere. I think it's on this side. Yes, right here. This is where the paint bridge, the mask and tape. Because that soft edge foam tape had lifted up and it got up under the foam tape. Like spraying black, I could have just not even masked the car off. Because black covered real good. But like if you spray candy and pearls and something like that, you don't want two different colors because you want a uniform color. Just say if this was red paint, then I came back to try to spray, uh, just say a gold base, a candy base. You're going to see the difference. You're going to see a darker color here than here. But black color real good, so I could have just not even masked the car off. Spider there. I sprayed it yesterday morning. I'm just gonna let it sit in the booth maybe another day. Then I'll pull it out and put the doors back on. Stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the